I invite you to get comfortable in your chair. Let the floor and your chair support you. And as you become more relaxed, invite your muscles to relax. And continue to gently breathe. And if you have not done so already, I invite you to gently close your eyes if you like. Know that right now, this is the perfect place for you to be. Right here, right now, having this experience. Know that you may choose to follow my words or you may choose to go elsewhere. Wherever you go will be perfect. And I invite you to now to just to continue to relax. And as you relax, we'll reflect on the truth of who we are. For today's resurrection celebration reminds us that we are divine that we are one with spirit, godness, source. It doesn't matter what we have done or not done in our lives. It doesn't matter what opportunities we have let slip by or how many times we have forgotten about our divinity. Right now, this is a new moment, a new birth an opportunity to begin anew, to wake up, to rise up, to rise up and realize the depth of our own divine potential. For we are truly eternal, ageless, deathless, complete and whole beings. We are holy beings. We are divine. And today we're invited to rise up, to go forward, to go forward into the highest consciousness we can possess at this time. We lay aside old beliefs or attitudes or judgments that no longer serve us or perhaps never served us. We let go of anything that has held us back. We keep our eyes forward and we heed the Easter message, the message of Jesus to be bold, courageous, fearless and confident as we strive forward to be the divine expressions that we were created to be. Greater things than these will you do. This was the prophecy for your life. The time for playing small is past. Going forward, you are free to feel your oneness with spirit. You are free to have a personal relationship with Godness. And from this understanding that we are all creators of our world, I envision the following. I see people all around the world reaching out to each other in love and support. I see the ill being tended to by gentle, loving health care providers. And I see all the health care providers knowing their value and feeling appreciated. I see the wisdom of spirit expressing through scientists as they develop new solutions for the challenges that need addressing. I see essential workers feeling proud of the important work they are performing and feeling the respect of their neighbors. 
I see leaders working together to support the most vulnerable. I see generosity of spirit expressing in every neighborhood. I see the formerly isolated and lonely absorbing the love and attention that is being directed their way. I see the handprint of the divine in the healing of peoples everywhere, healing of the body, the mind, the emotions, and the spirit. I see a world where everyone knows that they can choose joy and happiness regardless of outer circumstances. I see a planet where all know their own value and the value of each individual. I see a world where separation is replaced with caring, valuing, and honoring. I see a world full of music, and singing and laughter where every child is cherished and we all delight in their smiles. We create our world through our thoughts, prayers, and visions. We are powerful, amazing beings and we use our power to bless ourselves and the world. We use our power to bless ourselves and the world. And so it is. Ah, so I just invite you to take a few more gentle breaths. Feel that life energy flowing through you. All through you, all the way out your fingers and your toes and the tip of your nose. And when you're ready, I invite you to gently open your eyes, feeling alert, yet relaxed, energized, yet at peace. Namaste. Namaste.